Today we're going to be graphing real-world quadratic functions. Just as a reminder, the domain is the set of x values that satisfy an equation. The range is the set of y values that satisfy the equation. Graph each of the following equations over the given domain, then answer the questions that follow. I'm going to do the first problem with you. During halftime of a basketball game, a slingshot launches t-shirts at the crowd. The equation h equals negative 16 t squared plus 72 t plus 5 gives the t-shirt height h in feet after t seconds. Graph the equation over the domain 0 to 5. What is the maximum height the t-shirts will reach? So in this case, the domain is given that they want us to graph the function over, which really helps us out a lot. But in future cases, that domain will not be given, and you will have to search on your calculator for when the function will reach back down to the x-axis. So you're graphing it over the real set for the domain, when the function will be in the air over a positive set of time. So here, we're going to go right into pulling up the equation in our table of our calculator. So we turn on our calculator. We go to our y equals, which mine is already up, and type in negative. Make sure you use a negative sign, not a minus sign. 16x squared plus 72x plus 5 and pull up our table. Now, mine is already set up in intervals of a quarter, but let's go back and change our table setting to 0 and 1. So that says we're starting at 0 and going up by 1 each time. Go back to our table. And we see that 0 to 5 is very quick. It's 5, 61, 85, 72, 37, negative 35. But within that, although I see it's rising and then going back down, I don't really see the symmetric curve or the quadratic function. So I'm going to narrow this down, go back to second, table set, change the 1 to 0.5 and see what that does. And now when I pull up my table, I see more of a curve and some of the same values here, but I don't see the true vertex because I have 85 to 85 and nothing in between. So I'm going to narrow it down some more. Let's try a quarter. And here, if I scroll down, I see 85, 86, 85. So 86, this 2 and a quarter and 86 is our vertex. So let's go ahead and take those values and think about how we're going to need to graph this. So since we're graphing from 0 to 5, and I have enough space here on my x-axis, I'm going to spread that out. Again, this point here is our, ver is our vertex, or our 0, 0. It's the vertex of the graph. Or our origin, rather, not our vertex. And then I'm going to spread it out, so I'm going to make this 1, this 2, this 3, this 4, and this 5, just to spread it out since we have some half values that we have to graph. And now we know that our y-axis has to go all the way up to 86, since that's the highest point that was on our table. So we can easily do that by counting every other by 10, or each by 5. And that brings me up to 90. And I'm going to do the negatives as well since our 5 is at negative 35. And they asked us to go to negative 5 or positive 5 for the domain. And now I'm going to start graphing my points. Now it's very important to estimate but also show the symmetrical part of the graph. So when you're estimating those points, make it match up on either side of the vertex. So we have 0, 5 a quarter 22, a half and 37, three quarters and 50, one and 61, one and a quarter and 70, one and a half and 77, One 
1 and 3 quarters and 82. 2 and 85. 2 and 2 and a quarter, 86. 2 and a half and 85, so it's coming back down. I want to make it look symmetric. 2 and 3 quarters, 82. 3 and 77. 3 and a quarter and 70. Then three and a half and sixty one, three and three quarters and set and fifty, four and thirty seven, four and a quarter and twenty two, four and a half and five. Don't mind my children fighting in the background. It's real life at its finest. And then 5 and negative 35, way down here. So now you're going to very neatly draw your curved line. only from point to point since we were giving a set domain to graph it over. And yours should be much neater than mine, but you get the idea. So now it says, what is the maximum height that the teacher should reach? That maximum is represented by the vertex here, which is this point way up here. And that point is the Two and a quarter and 86 so we could say it will reach a maximum height or the maximum is 86 feet reached after two and a quarter minutes. Now, if we were talking real range and real domain here, the real range, talking about the Y values here, would be zero to 86. And the real domain, because obviously this t-shirt wouldn't go underground, would be zero to about four and a half, or a little bit more than four and a half. So when they give you an actual quadratic function that they want real domain and range for, it would actually cross exactly on the x-axis so you can have actual values. But you should know that for in the future if you have a multiple choice question that says what is the domain of the function, they're looking for the real value. So it would be 0 to about 4.5 in this case. What is the range of the function? It would be 0 to about to exactly 86 in this case. So Go ahead and try the next problem, answer the questions as you go, and then you can start the homework.